We welcome you to Frickers, our fourth basketball preview at all the county schools. And we'll finish up with Van Wert. Cougars getting ready to open up with Lincoln View on Saturday. And then next week, the big game with Crestview that we'll have for you on TV 44. And we're joined by the head coach, Mark Bagley. 13 wins a season ago. You saw some good progression from your team last year. And you have a lot back coming into this year. Yeah, thanks for having us tonight, uh, Andy. We're, we're really pleased to be part of your show and, and, and the mission that you guys bring uh, for high school sports and more and beyond that. But uh, we're very excited about this year. It's obviously still very early, but uh, we have a lot of guys back, and uh, the enthusiasm and excitement is there for, for the Cougars. What have you taken out of your practices and scrimmages leading up to this opening night Saturday? Well, one of our themes has been do today well. We, we can't worry about yesterday, and we can't worry about tomorrow. We're trying to do, do today well. and, and our theme from our sectional final uh, loss to Elida, which was a, a game that was tied with two minutes to go, and and uh, we didn't defend well enough. And, and our motto this year is defend the den. So we've really put an emphasis this year on, on, on defense and, and uh, defending every possession. Uh, we've had some guys with, with, with some injuries and some sickness this preseason. So we've, at, we've been able to build depth uh, in our preseason scrimmages. And, and you know now it's game week and get ready to play Lincoln View. You were talking to me earlier about how you use some of that scrimmage time as practices uh, against some other teams, and you go through drills together. What does that do, uh, that environment, that helps your team? Well, the preseason really is, if you're not involved in the football playoffs, it's very long, yeah. and it becomes monotonous. So but what a practice does is you go against somebody different, number one, and you still get reps in for different half-court sets, defenses, those kind of things. So you're, you're playing against somebody different, and, and you get different looks, different reps, different programs. And, and you may steal a few drills, too, as well <laughs> in, the, in the process. And as coaches, that's what we, we, we do. Um, we, we see something we like, and, and we'll steal that and use that for our, our program. And that's part of uh, the basketball fraternity of coaching as well. The Van Wert tip-off, obviously, is gone, but you still play those teams and ran right off the bat, too, with Lincoln View and then Crestview. How excited are you and the guys to have those county rivalries still, still around? Well, it's one of those things where it's very exciting. And, and our players handle it well, and most players do handle that well. It's yeah. sometimes the fans and, and parents that struggle <laughs> with that whole thing. But um, it traditionally has been Crestview on Friday and Lincoln right. View on Saturday. But because of Crestview's uh, success in football recently, that game has been moved around all over the place. Last year we played Crestview at the old gym, and that was in January. Uh, this year it works out pretty nice. We played Lincoln View uh, this Saturday, and then we follow up at Crestview the following Friday. So. Our kids are very excited about that. They should be. It's a rivalry game. It's bragging rights in our county. But at the same time, two games does not make our season. We've already talked about that. We can't, we can't put uh, all our eggs in two games and think that we're, we're really good or if we lose both, we'd be really bad. Uh, we have to stay let, uh, even keel with that whole scenario. Four of your five starters return. You've got some good experience back, and you've seen those guys grow uh, as individual players. Just how have you seen them come together as a team here as we get ready for our opening night? Well, we use an example tonight. We, we did our, um, our gold standards. We don't do goals. We do gold standards. Stole that from Coach K, the Olympic team, um, and talked about roles tonight. But the, the real first sign that I saw of a, of a big of a step was after our first two quarters, uh, of our scrimmage on Saturday, we, we weren't real good offensively, and it affected our defense. And I, we brought, we went in the locker room and kind of had a heart to heart about, I'll know this is your team when you guys start taking over, and you hear less of me talking. Wow. Um, and they did that. The last four quarters was as well as we played all preseason. Our kids were loose and free, and, and, and the experience they're gaining now, they're starting to take over the team. And that's when you know you've got some good leaders when the coach says less and the players say more. You have a young man that's been around the program as well, Brock Blythe. You were telling me about a nice story in the Van Wert Independent. Who, who, basketball operations, we see it at the college level. You guys have it here at Van Wert. Yeah, Brock started out in sixth grade as a ball boy, and he, and he filmed for us a little bit. And, and I always say a good filmer is a guy you don't notice is filming the game. When you start seeing the Titanic and it's sideways, <laughs> then you know you're we filming. We know all about that. Yes, <laughs> um, and Brock was great. And, and as the, the time went on, Brock just loved the game. And he knew he couldn't play it anymore. But he loved to be around it, and uh, you know, there, there's no one more person that's more important than the team. And Brock is one of those guys. He's been around for us for seven years. Mm -hmm. He doesn't miss anything. He knows our scouting report better than our players sometimes, and he calls them out on it. Uh, but he's a very valuable piece of our basketball family, and the relationships that are made through that—that that really is what high school athletics is all about. Yeah. 
Western Buckeye League is always tough. We call it the Wild, Wild Western Buckeye League for a reason. And this year, no exception. Some very, very experienced teams coming back all around the league. Kind of what, what are you looking at as you look at the WBL picture? Well, OG, when, when Kaufman gets healthy, has their whole team back. They, I think they lost one player. And they were missing a starter last year. They had a leg injury um, that he's back as well. So they have a lot of experience. Elida's tournament run with a lot of kids coming back. Uh, they're a very strong. Walpock won 20-plus games last year with four of their top players back. They had, had some injuries and those kind of things. And then, of course, you know, I, I think us with, with, with four starters coming back and a lot of experience. So um, I named four teams. I keep on going. Um, Defiance is so well coached. Solani has four starters back. Shawnee is athletic and play very hard. I mean, our league is very solid top to bottom. There's no off nights. And we have five uh, tough games on the road in our league. And we open up on the league at Walpaw, yeah. December 15th. So it, it starts off right off the bat. That'll be a game on WOSN. Uh, you also have Delphi St. John's, Wayne Trace. Uh, really a tough first five games to figure out who you guys are. It is. And we go single, single, single to start, which is kind of hard yeah. because it's really spaced out. Um, kids would rather play games and practice. I get that. But it, it's going to take a while to find our identity and, and find out you know, who's, who's five through ten in our program and, and who will step up to some of those roles and play those roles. But um, we do not shy away from playing teams. Uh, we're looking for another game right now. We'll, we'll play anybody. Um, we had a couple dates in mind. but uh, um, <laughs> We've got a really good intramural team at WSN. Hey, that'd be, that'd be perfect. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a good win for us. All right. Uh, but we, we play Fort Wayne Carroll. Um, my college roommate's there. They're Division One school in Indiana. That's always strong. And, and so uh, we think that great competition will bring us the tournament, which – Oh, by the way, is very competitive once again this year. Yeah, you were telling me about it. Teams from up in Toledo, the nine WBL schools. It's 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 yeah, basketball in this area, Division there, Two there, style. There's 14 teams now, two buys, and you throw in Toledo Scott, you throw in Wasion with with a very good team and, and uh, others, and it, it's very good competitive. But that's a long way off. We're sure. we're trying to focus on the process of getting there, and it's, it's all about the the journey uh, uh, as a basketball family. That's what we're trying to do right now. The journey of the first month of the season, how has it gone, do you feel, as far as the team coming together? It, it really has gone well. There, there's been some things that we've done. Uh, uh, we, we made a trip to Defiance and afterwards uh, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, and we found a lot out about the kids, you know, who, <laughs> who the girlfriends are and okay. who the girls are talking to and, and all those kind of funny things that go on with the high school kids. Sure. They see us as coaches in a different light. Um, so we, we've made some trips and done some things like that. Just coming here tonight and eating with, with a few, few of the guys. These are the things that are really important for the growth of a basketball family. All right. Thanks to Coach Bagley. Coming up next, we'll talk with some of the players here. We're at Frickers getting ready for the tip-off against Lincoln View here on WSN. We are back at Frickers. These guys were two of the loud clappers, and now they're joining us here with a microphone. Not as easy to clap. Jacoby Kelly to my left, senior point guard, and Nate Place, the junior guard, on the end. Nate, we'll start with you coming back from Mono. You getting your strength? You ready for this season? Uh, somewhat. I mean, I'm getting back. I lost a lot of weight. I mean, I gained about 15 pounds back. I'm working there, there in you the go. weight room. Getting some time. Jacoby, uh, another great football season. Coming into basketball, how excited are you for your final go around here in basketball? Uh, I got mixed feelings because I don't want it to be my final one, but I'm very excited because this team that I have with me, I'm looking forward to doing big things with them. So, Coach said you worked really hard to be a better defender coming into your senior season. What, why was that such an emphasis for you, and what kinds of things did you do? Uh, him and I, we have a really personal uh, relationship, and that's one thing that we're being honest about is I, I lacked on defense. So one thing I wanted to fix is my defense. and. I talked to college coaches, and some things that they pointed out was my defense. So in order to pick that up and want them to look at me, I need to pick up my defense, obviously. So, Defend the den. That's what you guys are Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Yep. We're will defending that, the den. Will that be on the t-shirts, Nate? I think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not they, in charge of the, that? Yeah, it's they're on the t-shirt. We'll make sure it is. We just got word. They're on the t-shirt. <laughs> we need a microphone for Coach Bagley the whole show. <laughs> just keep them talking. <laughs> Four guys back, though. As far as starters go, it's got to give you some comfort going into the season, Jacoby. Absolutely. Uh, having guys with experience just helps out so much. I mean, you know, like basketball IQ is obviously up there. And just knowing 
how to play the game and how to have fun, but do it the right way at the same time. It's just so much more uh, fulfilling and comforting when it happens like that. We know it's just two games, but it's two games to start the season against rivals. Nate, you excited for Lincoln View and then I Crestview? Mean, I mean, you grow up with them. You always play against them. You want to beat them, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's about WBL games, winning the WBL title. I mean, that's ultimately our goal. Yeah. And football, you guys took some big, big stands. I mean, you'll come back next year, but being a senior and seeing this team progress to where you did this year, that had to really give you excitement coming into the basketball season against WBL teams. Absolutely. I mean, that's a culture thing, and he, Coach Bax has talked about it. I mean, it's not just one sport. It, it takes all the sports, and just seeing how we had positivity and winning going in that season, now we can just bring it to basketball now. So, Started off the WBL football season with Wapak, started off the basketball season with Wapak as well. Are you excited for that matchup down there? I mean, Wolfhawks always a tough team. They're a big school. They always got athletes, so it should be a good game. And you'll be healthy at that point, completely healthy. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> that's been the goal. You just rest, right? That's how you get better from mono? Yeah, it's supposed to get 10 to 12 hours of sleep. I mean, I always tell Coach Bags that's what I'm getting. <laughs> so you come to school at noon, and you're fine, right? I wish. <laughs> that's not quite how it works. <laughs> maybe. Maybe you can, you can press into that. Jacoby, uh, as far as second team, all WBL last year, just had, Nice honor, but it's probably not something you, you really hang your hat on. It's team wins and how the team plays together. Absolutely. I mean, the team is always first. The individual things, like Coach Back says, it'll come out the end. But if we play as a team, everyone will get their honors, everyone will get their awards at the end. But when it comes down to it, it's all about the team and how much we get better and what we do. Lots of chances to see Van Wert this season, including the Lincoln View matchup. We'll also have the game at Crestview on the 8th, uh, the 15th against Wapak. And then we'll have the OG contest as well on WTLW on January the 12th. When we come back, we'll talk to a couple more guys and who knows what these two will do here on WSN. Yeah. Good stuff. We finish up our Frickers previews with a couple of Van Wert juniors. Had a great time with Parkway and Crestview and Lincoln View. And of course, with the Cougars, is Drew Bagley to my left, junior forward, averaged nine points, five rebounds a season ago. And Blake Henry, another junior, to your starter as well. And Drew, let's start with you. Uh, just having four guys back that started, just what's the camaraderie and chemistry between you guys like? Oh, it's great. I mean, we played with these guys for four, three years. and. You're able to move the ball, know where they're going to be at, and it's, it's really nice playing with them. Certainly defend the den. That's what we're hearing about here. Yep, What's that yep. mean to you as a big guy? Um, just stepping in there, maybe taking a charge, getting some blocks and uh, boxing out, just doing dirty, dirty work down low and uh, getting rebounds. So, yep. Blake, how about you? You like that defend the den? Yeah, I love it. I mean, we really just have to take pride in our defense. I mean, that's where it all starts, and that's where we'll get our wins from. Looking at the scrimmages, Coach said some depth has developed because of some sicknesses and injuries. Uh, how have you seen some of the younger guys come along? They, uh, well, it's just been great because obviously you said we have been making some depth and it just gives more people some opportunities to come in and show what they have and we'll need that as, a, well, as our season goes on. What's well, been a favorite scrimmage or practice for you so far, Drew? Um, I liked our last scrimmage. Uh, I thought we got a lot better as it went on. The first two quarters we didn't play so well, but then we really got things going, moving the ball. Uh, hitting open shots and uh, getting steals and turnovers, so that was that was good. No game Friday night. What are you guys gonna do? Uh, I'll probably just go home and relax. Me, we'll just relax to the team. I don't know. Yeah. Short practice, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, that's still to be to be determined. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but talking about your gym, I mean, it's it's a great place to play. But coach was saying three full length courts. You got ten hoops. How much does that help you getting ready for a game? It really helps us because like we can really like like divide up into three teams and really like go into depth with each team and it was kind of going back to last year it was really fun playing in an old gym just to see how it was back then but yeah. it's nice having our big gym that, you know. no question man we're ready for lincoln view to open the season saturday thanks to frickers for hosting us thanks to the cougars for being here as well lots of basketball all season on wsn